Expecting a little bit cooler air to work its way into the area on your Sunday, but thunderstorms are expected as a possibility for this evening into the overnight hours. Here's a look at pinpoint radar. The main impact has been a storm that has worked its way into parts of uh, northern parts of Robertson County, kind of drifting in from the west and northwest. That could bring some heavier rain and some frequent lightning to areas like Bremont and Franklin and far northeastern parts of Robertson County into parts of northwestern Leon County here in the next couple of hours. But your pinpoint forecast does bring that line of showers and storms through the area. By around midnight, things should be to the south of the region. Uh, still expecting a couple of rain showers through the overnight hours. But then things stay cloudy through tomorrow with scattered showers and thunder showers. Things will clear out, though, after around sunset, but not before we see some fog perhaps develop by Monday morning. And then Monday afternoon, lots of sunshine works its way back into the Brazos Valley. We had a gusty day today around the Brazos Valley. Peak wind gusts up and over 30 miles per hour for many of us, with Crockett topping out about 29 miles per hour. Your seven-day forecast, temperatures will top out in the 60s for tomorrow. We'll start off on the cool side in the 50s. Same thing on your Monday morning, but more sunshine back in the forecast just for one day. The last couple days of February, scattered showers and thunderstorms look like a pretty good bet to Tuesday and Wednesday. And then the wind picks up on Thursday as March gets started off to a sunny and a bit of a cooler start around the Brazos Valley.